so that was uh, Rothko's black on gray um, and when I first looked at that painting um, it really gave me a sense of desolation which I assume is what it's designed to do you know you've got this just gray sort of foreboding bottom half of the picture and then the top half is just black right and not like the black of the t-shirt but a just cold cold deep black um, and I couldn't quite figure out why I was drawn to this one I honestly think maybe some of the other pictures or other paintings probably looked better maybe are better done I don't, I'm not necessarily an art person something about this painting just sort of drew me in and then while I'm looking at it and staring at it I realized what it was that drew me in because the painting even though it was very foreboding and desolate and nihilistic remind me of something else um, I'm going to show you what it reminded me of right now <laughs> So that uh, picture that you just saw was an Earthrise right, taken from the moon. Um, looking at Rothko's black on gray um, just instantly reminded me, I think that's why I was drawn to it, of this shot of the rising coming to the moon, um, which is a very famous uh, image. You know, I mean, the, the first time, uh, I believe it was Apollo 8, they took shot of the Earth coming up over the lunar surface. Um, it was international news and all over the place. Um, and the first Earthrise shot was 1968. Rothko's Black on Gray was painted in 69. Um, so I have to think that part of this image, um, this black on gray, this setup of the, the black desolation of, say, you know, space and the the gray cold moon landscape uh, probably was his expression of this event that the whole world shared which is really kind of interesting because if you look at the earthrise shot that I just showed you um, the sort of brightness of the earth the big blue ball wh whatever um, sort of even though there is this desolation seems kind of happy and upbeat um, and the I think that was sort of the message that everyone took from it too at the time that all of us were not nation states we were the planet but what to me also then is a little more interesting than, than that is that you know Rothko's image the earth's missing and it's so desolate but the image I just showed you the earth rise that you just saw isn't actually the one that was shot in 1968 it happens to be the one that I remember I mean you know, someone who's a little older and actually saw them on TV uh, may have remembered the other one. But I'm going to show you the actual image that Rothko would have seen before he painted. Uh, give me just one second. So that was the actual famous Earthrise shot um, that was, I guess it was the uh, shot around the world, so to speak. Um, you know the color, the 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 setup, the contrast between the colors, again very same to Rothko. So I still want to stick with my argument that this meme is in direct response to this image that uh, had a global impact. But in the actual image, it wasn't shot by somebody on the lunar surface like the one that the painting made me think of. Um, but it was shot as they were doing a, an orbital flyby. It, it it was Apollo 8. Um, and yet when you do some reading on impacts of technology and science, this Earthrise image, the, the second one, the crooked and askew, is the one everyone says had this big cultural impact. Um, and yet, even with the tiny little blue marble in it, it's old and desolate and sort of foreboding. All the things that you get out of Rothko's black on gray. So I think Rothko's black on gray is... Um, and a direct response to this photograph snapped by Apollo 8 um, and I think he did a really good job of conveying the isolation and the loneliness and the desolation and it really sort of amazes me because he essentially did that with two colors and if you look at his painting 
half of the canvas is black, half of the canvas is gray. It's so minimalist, and yet I think it conveys so much. Um,